So we have our object 20 centimeters in front of a lens of focal length 9.5 centimeters. The second lens of focal length negative 30 centimeters is 15 centimeters behind the first lens. We want to find the location of the final image and its magnitude. So having a positive focal length means this is a converging lens. So the first lens is converging. Our object, whatever it may be, is 20 centimeters in front of this lens. So we'll call the left side the front side. Our second lens has a negative focal length, so that means it's a diverging lens. These lenses are 15 centimeters apart. And we want to find the location of the final image. So whenever we have two lens systems, we just treat them one at a time. We find the image that the first lens creates and then treat that as if it were the object for the second lens. Now, that doesn't mean the lens actually will create the first image. All the light just passes through the lens. Mathematically, it's equivalent to treating them individually. So for our lens one, I'll call this F1, we know the focal length. <coughs> S1, the object distance is 20 centimeters. So we can find S1 prime using our nice little nifty equation. 1 over S prime is going to be 1 over F minus 1 over S. So 1 over 9.5 centimeters minus 1 over 20 centimeters. answer, so that means the image is on the right side of the lens, the back side of the lens, and it's 18.1 centimeters from the lens. So from here to back here, 18.1 centimeters is how far away it is. Now it's magnification, magnification is negative S prime over S. So the magnification is negative. So our image is inverted, hence the negative sign. And it's just a little bit smaller than the original object. So 0.905, so 90%, 91% of the original object size. Now, this image becomes the object for the second lens. Because this image is on the back side of the lens, this is considered a virtual object. The light doesn't really pass through that lens, only to come back through and pass through. A virtual object, this is the only time that we will end up with a negative S value. So if the first lens creates an image beyond the second lens, that's considered a virtual object, and we use a negative value to represent it. Now we need to know how far this object, which was the image, we need to know how far it is from the lens because whenever we use our equation relating S, S prime, and F, all of those need to be measured from the lens you're working with. So if this total distance from the first lens to our image is 18.1 centimeters and the distance between the lenses is 15 centimeters, the difference is 3.1 centimeters. So that is our object distance. Object distance is however far it is from the lens. Negative because it's on the back side of the lens. Questions on that? Hear that? So we can find S2 prime, the image that the second lens makes. So 1 over negative 30 
that's the focal length, minus 1 over s, which is negative 3.1 centimeters. So basically, negative 1 over 30 plus 1 over 3.1. Answer is positive. That means the image is on the back side of the lens. Over here. Okay. 3.46 centimeters away, so it's only a little bit further away. Magnification, negative. S prime over S. You're going to get a positive value. A little bit over one. One point one two. That means getting a positive value means this final image has the same orientation as the image that we used as the object. So it's also inverted relative to the original object. It's a little bit bigger than that image. Our total magnification is simply the multiplication of the individual magnifications. So the first magnification was negative 0.905, second magnification positive 1.12. So the total magnification doesn't have any units, but there's two pieces of information to get from this. The negative sign means the final image is inverted relative to the original object. 1.01, basically our image is the same size as the object was. Can you have a single lens element that has a magnification of just negative one? Yes. Well, I have negative one. So there's no. no magnification, but it flips. No. So the only way to get that. Oh, is sorry. No, no. Yes, you can. Negative one. I was thinking positive one. Oh, sorry. Yes. The positive one's just a piece of glass, isn't it? Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> Converging lens. If your um, object is at the radius of curvature, your magnification it will be inverted because it's real, and it will be uh, it can have a magnification. So yes, that is possible. Oh, what is that negative? Why is what negative? Uh, this? Next, yeah, total magnification. Because we're multiplying the original, the first magnification, which was negative, by the second magnification, which is positive. Okay, I thought we were adding in. No, we didn't add it in. It mathematically came out to be negative. Yeah. You have a list of, like, recently converting ones. Positive rest time will be in the whatever it's bag. In the test notes, there's a table of signs. Okay. I'm not sure all the specific it has in it, but it tells you positive and negative s prime and where it is. Okay. So is this a telescope or a microscope? Neither. It's a. It'd be like glasses. <laughs> it's a practice using two lenses mathematical problem. <laughs> Wouldn't it be kind of like glasses because glasses are. It would be similar to glasses, yeah. Oh, only generally, if the light would need to come from that direction. Right. And that distance would be much smaller. That is a pretty empty business suite glasses. <laughs> Magnification for glasses minor. Like yeah. Minor only 0 0.175. So. Yeah. And 1. The, when you get glasses, by the way, 
your um, prescription, when they prescribe you the power that you need, say it's positive 0.5 diopters, just, yes, just making something up. All this represents is 1 over the focal length in meters. So if this was your prescription, then that means the lens you need is positive 2 meters. 